This is the story of a man who escaped prison four times in a row through his genius and effortless ways, leaving us all baffled. But how? Let's find out. The incredible story of Stephen J. Russell unfolds in a captivating narrative showcasing his audacity and determination. He managed to escape from prison four times within less than five years. Stephen's accounting job ended unfairly, marking the start of his journey. The occurrence triggered a flood of events that ultimately steered him towards a life filled with falsehood and duplicity. Throughout each daring escape, he exhibited exceptional ingenuity and resourcefulness, expertly manipulating those in his vicinity to successfully achieve his objectives. Despite his brilliant strategies, luck eventually turned against Stephen. The outcome was a lifelong prison term of 144 years with no opportunity for parole. The story revolves around a man who tirelessly seeks both freedom and wealth, disregarding the consequences he may face and escaping prison four times in a row effortlessly. Shortly after losing his job as an accountant, Stephen embarked on a path of crime. Due to the financial challenges he encountered, he started partaking in dishonest behaviors. His first prison escape was hatched during his initial month behind bars. Stephen perceptively noticed the workings of the prison and developed a scheme to grasp the periodic workforce that entered the facility. By skillfully assuming a new identity in Florida, he broke free by wearing a convincing disguise and acting inconspicuously. For a while, he enjoyed fleeting freedom until he was apprehended again while involved in a heist. Following his sentence, Stephen found employment as a grocery store worker. Still, his endless longing for riches and fortune never faded. He longed for a fail-safe blueprint that would guarantee financial independence without end. With this goal in mind, he created a complex fake operation. Stephen targeted a top-level position in a health insurance company. His determination to prove himself remained strong despite not meeting the necessary qualifications. His strategy for accomplishing this audacious feat involved an intricate coining scheme. To establish himself as a credible contender, he meticulously invented a fictitious biography, particularly emphasizing his involvement in the financial sector. He impressed the interviewers with his eloquence and fabricated qualifications during the interview process. To enhance his deceit, he supplied counterfeit references and adeptly handled phone calls from possible employers by assuming different characters. Believing his complex plan had effectively deceived the company, Stephen was confident he would obtain both the job and the desired wealth. What he did not know was that his actions would bring about severe outcomes. A bank had flagged his account for suspicious money transactions, which led to an inquiry by the organization. Stephen's attempt to escape again was futile as he couldn't outrun his impending danger and fate. The police eventually apprehended Stephen, and his carefully constructed world of lies came crashing down. Utilizing his brilliant strategies, he successfully evaded prison multiple times. Nevertheless, his downfall was ultimately caused by his uncontrolled ambition and greed. The thrilling narrative of Stephen J. Russell plays out like an extraordinary book. With each escape, he showcases his sheer genius and resourcefulness. While in prison, Stephen was confronted with an excessively steep parole bail of $950,000, and he aimed to greatly diminish this astounding total. Stephen's remarkable manipulation skills enabled him to befriend an employee at the office and effectively convince them to assist. By using clever strategies and charisma, he persuaded the employee to modify the parole papers, resulting in a decrease in bail to only $45,000. Stephen formulated a detailed strategy to reach out a prisoner financing company after obtaining the bail. He aimed to secure the remaining funds and ultimately attain his liberty. Unfortunately, his aspirations were crushed when the authorities discovered his plan. In a sunny Florida, he was caught again after seeking shelter in a hotel near the beach. Stephen received a 40-year imprisonment term. Opting not to file an appeal, he made the unconventional choice of accepting his guilt and the judgment, unlike his previous escapes. Despite being transferred to a maximum security prison, his determination to regain freedom remained unwavering. Stephen maintained a vigilant watch over his environment from inside the prison. He observed a medical wing where inmates were provided treatment. This sparked a new escape plan in his brilliant mind. 
he cleverly dyed his clothes green to imitate medical professionals. Then he approached a guard, exuding confidence with his disguise and successfully convinced her to open the prison door through manipulation and skillful acting. This act bestowed upon him freedom once more. Recognizing the need for a swift departure, Stephen cleverly convinced a homeowner to offer him a ride. He assumed the role of a doctor who had experienced a car crash. By using his sharp reflexes and talent for assuming different roles, he was able to avoid detection yet again. In a daring third escape, Stephen employed his deceptive skills once more. He successfully tricked the taxi driver, leaving him waiting for payment at a hospital locker while he made his escape. This escape proved to be more challenging to catch him. Terry Capps spearheaded a group of experts tasked with finding him. However, Stephen's cunningness allowed him to dodge capture initially, fleeing to Houston and eventually to Biloxi, Mississippi. Unfortunately, this time luck was not favoring Stephen. The Marshal of Biloxi recognized him from a photo provided by Terry Capps and arrested him. An extra five-year sentence was added, and he was returned to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Limited options and an uncertain future were all he had left. Stephen's unwavering determination to attain freedom compelled him to create another escape plan, despite the growing obstacles. To exploit a loophole for parole, he resorted to a daring scheme, pretending to have AIDS. Unfortunately, his tricks were uncovered, leading to his plan backfiring. Stephen starved himself, fabricated medical records, and intentionally induced a coma. His cunning manipulation of the prison doctors convinced them of his terminal condition, resulting in parole being granted. He was relocated to a care center situated in Kennedy, Texas, and it seems that this was his most adventurous evasion yet. Stephen's life escalated to extraordinary levels as he assumed the persona of Dr. Adam Roos, an invented doctor offering an untested AIDS treatment. Suspicions about his medical credentials cast doubt on his carefully constructed image. Using craftiness and carefully planned actions, he executed a strategy that would mislead the jail and the healthcare facility. The plan guaranteed his disappearance without leaving any evidence. Posing as Dr. Adam Roos, Stephen approached the authorities at the prison and care center with a bold proposition. He asserted that he had an innovative cure for AIDS that he alleged would transform the trajectory of medical history. His ability to charm others and smooth talking convinced the staff that he possessed exceptional medical knowledge as a genuine doctor. Afterward, it was discovered who he truly was, and he was unmasked again as a fraud. Stephen executed the next phase of his daring plan with the groundwork laid. Using his manipulation abilities, he created a fake death certificate and skillfully submitted it to the required officials. To give the impression of his unexpected death, the document was created. This ensured that nobody would come looking for him. The world believed that Dr. Adam Roos had met a tragic end. Stephen's determination for freedom and wealth propelled him to successfully flee from prison once more. In his aftermath, he left a path of deceit. Rather than adjusting his behavior and embracing a fresh direction, he persisted in using deceitful actions to accomplish his aims. In his relentless pursuit of escape and anonymity, Stephen forged a lawyer's ID card. He hoped that this would shield him from suspicion and further scrutiny. Still, his doubtful behavior was not disregarded. The authorities were contacted by the owner of the ID card who became cautious. The truth about the person impersonating a lawyer was disclosed. The fugitive Stephen J. Russell was soon discovered to be this man. The law once again had its sights on Stephen. Facing the determination of authorities, he was relentlessly pursued and apprehended. His intricate escape plan, which relied on a fax machine, failed this time. Two vigilant detectives spotted him unexpectedly and swiftly moved in to apprehend him. This led to his fourth time in custody. Due to Stephen's repeated escapes, Texas authorities decided to make him an example, causing embarrassment and frustration. Their objective was to transmit a transparent message to anyone else who may contemplate trying a similar feat. In a strict ruling, he was sentenced to 144 years in prison with no opportunity for parole. This punishment for his nonviolent crimes was unparalleled. Despite this, Stephen continued to demonstrate unwavering resilience and determination to attain freedom. In the highest security unit, Stephen suffered through a punishing existence. 
His daily routine consisted of 23 hours spent in solitary confinement. The stark reality of his imprisonment overshadowed his once distant memories of freedom and wealth. Stephen has spent his lengthy sentence in the same high security unit since 1998. The consequences of his actions still endure. Subscribe to this channel for more astonishing crime stories. Stephen J. Russell's life teaches us that fraudulent tactics and manipulation cannot bring true freedom and lasting wealth. Although tremendously intelligent, he ended up being caught in an eternal circle of trickery, always denied the freedom he longed for. Mind-blowing crimes revealed. How? Click now to find out.